Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial covering how to buy Solo with Topper on Sologenic using the Solodex wallet. So in order to complete a purchase of Solo with Topper on Sologenic using the Solodex wallet, you can follow these steps. If this is your first time using Topper, make sure to have an identifying document such as a driver's license or passport on hand in order to complete the KYC requirements. Additionally, you'll need a credit or debit card. So with that said, let's dive right in. Step one, log on to sologenic.org and access the DEX. Step two, connect your Solodex wallet to the DEX by pressing the connect wallet button and scanning the QR code with your mobile device. Step 3. Ensure the Solo Trust Line in your Solodex wallet is activated. Then, hover over the Fiat tab at the top of the screen and select Buy with Fiat. Then, select Topper. On the next screen, input the amount of Fiat you wish to spend, select Solo as the currency you want to receive, read and agree to the Service Provider Information Agreement, and press Buy Crypto. Step 4. Once you've been redirected to the Topper portal, review your order details and press Continue. Here, first-time users will need to follow the prompts to create a new wallet by verifying an email address and phone number, as well as submitting personal details and verifying an identifying document. To verify your documents, use your mobile device to scan the QR code or receive an SMS with a link to complete the process. Step 5. Once you've followed the prompts and successfully submitted your information, you can enter your credit or debit card info to complete the purchase. After reviewing your order once more, Select the Pay button to submit the transaction. Once the order has been processed successfully, the Solo tokens will be available in your Solodex wallet. And congratulations, buying Solo with Topper on Sologenic using the Solodex wallet is now complete. For further support with your order, you can check out the Topper support page linked in the description of this video to contact support or review troubleshooting guides. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.